Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us again for Junior Times. Now today's topic is a science topic and of course we know that there's many different kinds of science like biology, the study of living things and earth science, the geology that studies rocks. Well today's science sort of branch is astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the things in the space and in sky, such as the moon, stars, planets, comets, and pretty much the universe in general as a physical whole. So, the largest astronomical telescope in the world. So again, a telescope is something that we, it's a machine that we use that we can look very, very far away, all right? So, the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institution said that Korea is taking part, they're taking part means they're joining a team sort of, they're working together in a global project, all around, scientists all around the world to construct or to build or to make the world's largest telescope in Chile. The Space and Science Institute also reported that the giant Magellan Telescope Organization, that's the name of the sort of team of scientists, has started construction, has started building of the giant Magellan Telescope. Magellan, of course, is the explorer that went around the world first. The GMT, the Magellan Telescope, will be located at the Las Campanas Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert. The observatory's location, where it is, is famous for its clear dark skies and outstandingly clear astronomical images. So why did they pick this desert for their location? Well, because it's clear. That means we can see very well in the sky, okay? There's really no cover, like no pollution or no clouds or something like that. The design of the new telescope includes seven large mirrors. So this is how they're making it, seven large mirrors. Together, they create a single telescope that is 25 meters in diameter. So this big circle is 25 meters, very big. According to the Space Science Institute, the production, the making of one giant mirror has already been finished. And three others are being built now. So how many do they need total? Total they need seven. They finished one and they're making three so they have to make three more, right? The telescope will become the world's largest telescope when it begins operations in 2021. Operations is when it starts to operate, when it starts to work, when it starts, you know, doing its job. <coughs> the telescope will deliver images, will give us images 10 times clearer than those produced by the Hubble Space Telescope. Right now the Hubble Space Telescope is in space and it's taking infrared pictures and gamma ray pictures of very far away planets and stars and it's very clear. However, this one will be 10 times more clear. It is also expected, estimated or guessed to provide answers, to give us answers to key questions in cosmology about space, astrophysics, and the study of planets outside our solar system. So what they're saying is, is very clear, and what do we do with those pictures? From those clear pictures, we can know more about space and the universe and uh, different planets and stars and galaxies far away. Okay, we have three key review questions here. First one, what did the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute report about the giant Magellan Telescope? What did they tell us about this telescope? The Space Science Institute reported that the giant Magellan Telescope Organization, the group of scientists, the team of scientists, has started blank on the GMT, on the telescope. So, of course, they're in the process of making it right now. They didn't finish it, right? We have seven mirrors and they started making some of them. And when you're making something, we say that is construction. When you start construction, you start building, 
you start creating, you start the project. So construction means to make. B. What is the La Campanas Observatory's location famous for? Why did they pick this desert? The observatory's location is famous for its clear, dark skies and outstandingly clear, blank images. So this telescope, what kind of pictures are they going to take? Are they going to take pictures of mountains? Maybe animals? No, they're going to take pictures in space, right? And everything that has to do with space, that branch of science is called, our topic today, astronomy. So, astronomical images. So, anything that has to do with astronomy, anything that has to do with stars, moons, planets, galaxies, we call it astronomical images. C. What is the telescopes expected to show? What what is it planning to show this later? The telescope will deliver images 10 times blank than those produced by the Hubble Space Telescope. So again, the key sort of function, the main job we want this telescope to do is to give us clear pictures, to give us clean pictures, uh, not a picture that's dirty or we can't really see what's going on, but we can, wow, see it. And we, sorry, I said the answer already, it's clearer. So this telescope will be so much more clearer and crisp and clean than the Space Hubble Telescope. Okay, we have three key review terms here. The GMT, the telescope, will be blank at the Las Campanas Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert. <coughs> this is talking about the setting of the telescope. Where is it going to be? Well, we know where. It's in Atacama Desert, and when something is placed somewhere, when something is somewhere, then we say it is located. So we can say that Busan is located where? In the southern uh, tip of South Korea. Or where is Jeju Island located? Jeju Island is located south of Korea, it's an island, right? So located is telling you where something is. B, the GMT will become the world's largest telescope when it begins blank in 2021. So 2021, that's the year that it will, they will turn on the machine from on, I mean, sorry, from off to on, everything will start working at that time. So it's not talking about when it is finished, it's talking about when it will start to work, when we can use it, right? So we say that is operations. Operations is a form of a word called operate. To operate means to use something, to control something, to uh, you know, use it for our benefit. It is also expected to blank answers to key questions in cosmology, astrophysics, and the study of planets outside our system. So again, all of these topics, cosmology, astrophysics, how planets move and how they're formed, all of these things are not inside the, our Earth. They're all outside of this, our Earth. And of course, it's so big that we have so many questions to them. And we want answers. We want to be given answers. And to give something, is to provide. To provide means to give or to offer something. So we can say our school provides or gives us lunch. Our teachers provide us homework and our mothers provide us you know, clothes and food and love and things like that. All right, so to review, located is talking about where something is, Operations is when it starts to work and let's say a machine, it starts operation is when we turn it on or when we push the computer on, it, we're starting operations. And provide means to give or to offer or to provide something, right? All right, sorry. Um, so next time you look up at the sky, really pay attention to really how many things that we don't know about our universe and we should always try to learn more about the universe. All right, so this is Junior Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.